Hello, the Brew Crew, and welcome to a new episode of my Andrea Pirlo Glory to Success Save. And I'm Jackie here, and taking the role as Andrea Pirlo. And as you can see, we have played a lot since recently. Uh, and it's gone pretty good. We are actually third, or more second, but yeah, we have played two matches less than those. But we were second. Uh, one point behind uh, Inter there, so that's pretty good. I do not mind it. 3 0 against Brescia. Uh, Kilan Leon has been, has been outstanding scoring goals. And Victor Per has been really good. Yeah, I've changed both of my uh, uh, Romanians fella. Per Persia is called, but I named the Victor Per just because it was easier. We won this match eventually. Olbrich scoring the winning goals for us. Yeah, we were really lucky. There it was really a in and out game here. So yeah, they did come back like twice. And as you can see, the Victor Per again scoring. So Olbrich has been very important in the central midfield. One against Sampdoria, 2-1 here, took our chances, scored a goal. Kilan Leon is probably our most important player. Uh, once against a solo, Anthony Constantino, I got him in from Milan, loaned him in just the last minutes here. Ray Finney scoring uh, uh, the first goal for us, and I believe he did, I think he was the player that actually won the penalty there so not too bad and uh, yeah a lovely goal there as well so that's pretty nice and fortunately we lost against the Inter not surprising way at Bastim Sedini scoring the goal uh, a hat trick there in Jovan GJ I'm calling him now because it's easier than uh, anything else. So Jovan DJ scoring a goal there. And Faloni as well on the left wing. So 4-2. Not, not too bad. We were kind of uh, competitive in the beginning. But then they just run away with it. Kilan uh, Leon here scoring uh, uh, four goals. The first on penalty. Perundia always seems to be a struggle for me. It was a struggle at Milan and here was sort of a struggle as well. Um, right to Leon there. Apparently, no, we can't see that right away. Fontaine, I have to actually go on uh, the German goalkeeper. I had the Milan for a while. Leon there through and 4 2, so the opposite there. Unfortunately, as Frost and On, they just got to draw. I believe they are. Or maybe they were that. Yeah, they are 10th, so not that bad. So we were down here by scoring goal. Aiden Wright has not been bad, though. It's been a kind of a competition between Aiden Wright. What happened? So I'm pretty happy about that, that we won that match. I thought it would be tougher. Calgary, a match which I thought would be tough. But the Calgary is that. Or they are mid table as well. So, yeah, but Fane is saved the point here for us. So, still, we're not losing that many matches. And then Kilan Leon scoring a goal. And then Anton Constantine. We might just show you those two goals as well. <laughs> Coming straight after one another. So, he is actually a starter playing now. Because <laughs> I decided that Olbrich would rather uh, play in the central midfield and it seems like it works better that way as well so that's really lovely roma 3-1 solid victory here and uh, i thought they would come back but we had it all under control even if we were down with one man there poor busson and bach yeah i named him robert bach is called something else as well then we just controlled the second half, they scored another goal, but we're never really near to win the match. So that's pretty lovely goal as well. And then recently against Genoa, 
a very control the victory as well to uh, <laughs> actually do this a one shot to target we have eight shots here scored two goals Riffin again one of the best play Kilan Leon I rested him because we have Milan so <laughs> rest is on play but we yeah he's he's match fitness is not that great so for me like at home we go with this lineup Almarza I'm just checking I don't want the order to disappear Almarza Manta uh, Wab uh, Busson Suleiman <laughs> I'm playing the word about this is Suleiman is we got a red card twice and Manta once Fuchs uh, Olbrecht Bacci Constantino Fini, Leon, and as you can see here as well, economic. It doesn't look great, so I think we anyway need to sell some players in January. So I guess we'll see about that. It's still young Bachi, so but he he was pissed. Uh, he was pissed off that did not bring in another Romanian. But we already have another Romanian, so I don't know what he's complaining about. We have uh, they might not play together all the time, but. Victor Per can play, or he's another Romanian, so I don't know why he's like, well, you need another Romanian for me. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully we... You saw his average rating is not that great. He's been a lot of injury prone as well, and, um, yeah, um, has very high wages as well, so... I guess with Fuchs has surprised me. He was a play. He was the player that I didn't and not even sign. So I thought, well, he's not going to be a first choice for me. He's been a first choice because he's solid in the defensive mid position and really no one else can play there. And it seems like I feel like we've been more solid with the uh, defensive mid because. Uh, those others, they're not be outstanding. And as you can see, Fulati is still dropping down here. I believe he's have one of the highest wages, so... But uh, it depends, we just get 30% of uh, transfer revenue as well, so... I don't really know how... I uh, hope I don't... I'm still watching the match here. I hope I don't look too tired. If I feel a little bit tired. I played through a lot of football match recently, or yeah, was many of those national games. And Torelli, Salas, yeah, Salas is still there, unfortunately. Freaking player is what's so much money. And mm -hmm. feel like they're about the same, but it's nice if someone, if someone of them doesn't compete, I can give the other one a chance. But to be fair, Finney has to almost be better than Aidan, since yeah, elsewhere it doesn't make sense that Finney gets the national. But at the same time, it's not that many uh, in the national team that are like good, except Salomon. He's just solid. <laughs> um, Constantine. Yeah, we might need to get some players in here. The, I think we might get you in as a shadow striker here, Jovan. You have not played that much. But at the same time, I don't want to go all out. Youngster, so very, very. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Audio just went out, but very, very solid performances. And now, now of course, they're going to score, yeah. Malik, why him? He sucks. Okay, it's offside. But yeah, we've been very solid recently, not conceding that many goals, so... I still think that Inter is better, but... You never know! And I definitely thought that it would we wouldn't be able to finish second after just one season, and for last season being like seven, so... I'm kind of still surprised that we are this good so far, really. Yeah, I want to do the derby, so I'm going to do the derby here. Schwab. I mean, they don't, they don't, they don't create that much. 
I know they have a good defense and you can see that they don't concede that much either, I believe they're... I think it was Milan. <laughs> and that's the, the impressive thing that we actually score here. Because I think they have conceded like 5 goals or something ridiculous like that. So I think they have the best defense. We have conceded like 17. But it might be <laughs> 10 victories, that's pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, 6 goals conceded by Milan. But we score 31, there's not too bad, but 15 conceded still. <laughs> but no goals conceded against Milan, that's pretty solid. I did not thought that would happen. But they have a new uh, Almsi, Almsich. Uh, so yeah, he's new as well as me, so <laughs> that might be the thing as well. Uh, so yeah, I will be back for the Trina match, so see you soon again! Okay, here we are once again uh, back, and uh, this is the lineup for today. Making some changes, resting some players, so Almarza, Mulle, Busson, uh, Ivan. Yeah, giving a chance once again, he's been very inconsistent. Grodana, yeah. Fitness is not that crazy, trying to get this fitness up as well. Reale and Olbrecht, because he's so important, and uh, same with Leon. But I'm going with J uh, Jovan DJ here, uh, Faulati, that's, yeah, fitness is not. Also need to improve, so yeah, getting some players that need fitness <laughs> improvement. Uh, right, Jovan DJ, and Leon. So let's go for the ma derby. Torino derby against Gran Torino. They might be Gran Torino soon, who knows. Oh, I would have loved to make a save with that. Just to restore the Gran Torino, but mm, I don't know. I w maybe just through a lower league save. Just make them as good as they were in like the 50s before the flying crash accident. Because they, they were, I might actually show here, just if you don't know. Or, yeah, in the 40s, 40s they won five league titles, uh, four in a row, so, yeah, they were, they were excellent then, back then, better than the event. But then they could, they could really never come back to being a big team, they're still like a team, a classical Serie A team, but they never could come back to the heights of being like a top team in Serie A. Yeah, that's a little bit fortunate, but uh, we should focus on ourselves. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Our long team player. If I would be able, but I don't think I can do that, but if I would be able to get uh, Giovanni Massi in, uh, in the January, you bet I would uh, for... <laughs> Sell foul out and get you Well, that looked suspicious, but was that it's it's not offside. I don't know why I thought he was offside. He was so darn free there, Aiden. I guess he's just it's a bad clearance. I guess just and he just goes through here. So I saw, um, yeah, where, where was he? Fini wasn't that great, so that, that's why uh, I letting right play here instead uh, and we might it might I don't know I don't think the Inter won Champions League though we seem to be very clinical now with the chances we get as well in some matches very solidly defense I thought we, right Leone Kuchak I think I might give him like I know it's not play great, but yeah, we we might still be, need to sell some players because I almost feel like we have too many players on Son and Marius. And uh, I would like a defensive midfielder to, or I guess we need four strikers because we're using two away. But yeah, it's still still not beneficial. I guess a lot of these are just loan ins as well. Faulione. And G Jovan scoring a or making a sister Provenciak. Guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll just see because the main issue is 
I don't know how much money we're going to get in, but if Pesci still wants to leave, Pes Robert Pesci still wants to leave, we can get, uh, yeah, so his value is like 10 million, so we can get like 20 million, uh, so surprisingly it's a lot of teams that are interested in him, so it's sad. I've, I've just created the perfect tactic, I don't know. The, this 4 for 2 seems to work really well. It's sad because Const what's this called Antonio Constantino is never going to play away game basically. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll get you out here. I know you can't play there, but I'm just going to get you in there. Can even even can sort of play there? I guess <laughs> not really, but yeah, what. Trevisan has not gotten a lot. Surprisingly, he's still not complained. He's like, whatever. <laughs> I played just three matches, three league matches, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just happy to be in this successful team. I'm just from Roma and from Florentina, so I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm not <laughs> experienced this success before. As you can see his match fitness there. I think we will see. Yeah, we played the same as you can see here. Still, one point just. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, or not surprisingly, but as you can see here, Inter's goal difference are way above us. Almost a double. So I guess I was thinking, yeah, we have that match. But I was thinking semi-final in the challenge cup i need to see where that is. probably would be a lot of live come but i think we might do that and then do end of the season if we still have a chance there or just do the inter game and then we have done the transfer window anyway so i think that's going to be the plan for the next upcoming episodes and also uh, we have got drawn in uh, our or England and we meet Turkey and Ireland so I will I will see I think it will possibly be Turkey away it will be a match that we will show or Ireland at home but I, I will obviously not show every match because that will just take too long and will, will just be a hassle so yeah thank you all for watching have a good tea and a good coffee day and I see you soon again so 